Hi everybody, today we're going to show you how to install and activate MarkSquare's IDDQ version 6.60 just out for the Macintosh and Windows. Alright, let's go check that out. You will have gotten in a, likely an email with the product and the product code or the product ID and a unique download URL. It's very important to save this. You can always use this to get the latest version. This is not for open distribution. This is yours only, your private download URL. There will no longer be any installers or updaters on our web page. You only get it via this URL. To start with, you just click there and go download the installer. Let's show you how that works now. Okay, so we click in there, and we now get the end user license agreement for ID to Q. Obviously, I will read and understand this, and when I click Agree, the Download button will appear or become more visible. Then I can click Download, and the download, a very small download, starts. In Safari, it's up here in the right-hand corner of your browser. Once done downloading and decompressed, and please make sure if you're using modern decompression utility, sometimes you can only allow it to decompress the outer shell, please make sure you decompress all all parts and components of the download package. It's very important that when we go in here that we have all these files decompressed. Do not move any of these files please, leave them all here. So what you'll get is this folder here and this is how it will look. The setup QXP9 installer and the view files where we just were. Really all you need to do is go here and click setup QXP9 now. Let me show you how that works. So we double click, set up QXP9. Quark Express 9 is closed at this moment, it's not open. Click there. On Windows, it'll be a similar process. On Mac, it warns you it's an application from the internet. That's fine. Down here in your dock, there will be a bouncing icon for the, from the installer. Go down there and select that, and up will pop this. Set up Marksware. Welcome to IDDQ for QXP9 or Express 9. And you quickly select or click on install. It then says choose Quark Express or QXP9's application folder. QXP is, of course, the dot extension that Quark Express projects use. And we just go in and we choose in our applications folder Quark Express 9. We don't go inside of the folder. And by the way, inside your Quark Express 9 folder, you should have your Quark Express application, your extensions folder, and everything as it is after installation. Otherwise, our installation for IDDQ might fail. So you just go in there, you choose the Quark Express 9 folder, just like that, and you click or select Choose. Ask for your password to install IDDQ. Click OK. And there, it's that quick to install IDDQ in Quark Express 9. Thank you for using Marksware for your content solution provider. We click finish and we'll show you now the next step, which is simply launching Quark Express 9 with an active internet connection. All right, so now we simply launch Quark Express, Quark Express 9 in this case. It's always best to make sure that your Quark Express on the latest version 9.3.1. something at this point, and that your Macintosh, in this case, and then the Macintosh or on the Windows, the same. That your OS, your operating system, is also up to date. You must have an active internet connection with no firewall. If you have firewall blocking, you won't be able to activate, which isn't the end of the world. You can still use the product, but you won't be able to use it forever. You need to activate it sometime. Now, what you saw pop up first is that it was trying to activate. Sometimes it'll try to activate, and it won't be able to. Uh, maybe the server is uh, busy, uh, maybe there is uh, uh, something else that's blocking the access temporarily. In that case, you just quit your quirk, start it again a minute or two later, and generally it works. All right, so it says here, activation process is now complete. Your product is ready to use. ID to Q for Quark Express 9, version 6.60 for Macintosh. So we click Close here. Now the next screen is our registration screen. Now, I'm not showing you what's down here because that's a unique code. That, along with your unique download URL, you should save. That unique download URL is where you'll always get the latest version. There is no installers or updaters on our web page. 
The registration form is for you to fill in for technical support or special offers in the future, etc. So, hence, it is very wise to fill this in. Fill it in, and down below you hit submit. It's that easy. Very simple. You just go up top in Quark Express, and this will also let you see right away if it's installed correctly. You will find a Marksware menu item. Under Marksware, you'll find the Marksware products. We have our PDF DTP, which converts PDF files right into Quark Express, and we see the new file we just installed, our ID to Q version 6.60. And now we can go and check out the options. We can set up our conversion options. It's best to always leave these with full stylization under text attributes and use picture with full stylization under picture previews. Post conversion options. I turn on generally most of the post conversion options. I do not overflow text box. I don't allow that so quickly. I'll turn off some of these like items with runaround specified or auto adjust tables. When it's a big file with a lot of tables, it might take forever to do that. And if it's converting fine in the beginning, I don't need to auto adjust them. These are post conversion options that make the conversion that much better. All right, we click OK. We just go up to Marksware, and the way to use IDDQ version 6.60 is you go IDDQ, convert InDesign. You then uh, simply select the InDesign file you want to convert. IDDQ version 6.60 is support for Adobe InDesign CS6 files. This will allow you to get CS6 InDesign documents right into Quark Express 9. Very handy. We click Open. Like I said, we leave all uh, options the same. We can click Don't Show to hide that. We click OK. And the conversion process begin begins. Marksquare's ID to Q will convert all elements of the InDesign file, CS6 or lower, right into Quark Express 9.3. ID to Q is indispensable for any Quark user working in a mixed environment who might get the odd InDesign file come along. No reason to miss out on InDesign jobs when you can convert them right into Quark Express for you to use in your desktop publishing environment. And there you see it. It converts right over. A 120 page magazine that was just in InDesign now right in Quark Express. It's that simple with Marksquare's IDDQ version 6.60 for Quark Express 9. If you need any more information or support if your file, if your IDDQ is not installing correctly, go to marksware.com and under support, you'll see get product support. Click there, then choose IDDQ and fill out this form completely with the version of your IDDQ and everything and this full description. You can even um, attach screenshots of errors or files that might be you know, you think are tricky or the problem itself. If you have a InDesign file not converting it correctly, send it on over. IDDQ will generally work out of the box really well. It's been on the market for years and years. One little tip to help you fill out that support form. In that download file, we have the installer, shortcut, and the view files. If you go into view files and you go into plugins, you'll see the actual extension, the .xnt, which will have already been installed. But if you do a Command-I on the Macintosh or a File Get Info, similar on Windows, you can then find out exactly which version it is. Here we see it's version 6.60.41. You can copy that information out and then fill it in the, in the form. Thank you once again. This is David Dilling from Marksware. That was how to install IDDQ version 6.60 on the Macintosh. Similar applies on Windows for Quark Express 9. If you want more information on our products, cruising over to marchwood.com. Once again, this is David wishing you a very pleasant day. Till the next time.